is in jail tonight, accused of uploading child pornography to the internet. Colorado Springs police say 23 year old Paul Levitt was arrested earlier today. Police say Levitt was uploading those images to a cloud based service and a gaming social media platform. Levitt is now being held in the El Paso County Jail without bond. He's expected in court tomorrow. A local soldier who has been convicted of attempted sexual assault on a child is now set to learn his sentence later this fall. Last fall, CSPD says Kevin Edwards Lee was arrested during an undercover operation into people who allegedly lured and exploited kids online. And we checked court records today. This week, Lee was convicted of attempted sexual assault on a child, soliciting for child prostitution and other charges. And these are just two out of more than 5,000 cyber tips reported to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in Colorado since the beginning of the year. 11 News reporter Caitlin Quisenberry is live outside of police headquarters. The number of reports, Caitlin, is going up. Experts say those numbers are going up and at this time last year there are nearly 900 more reports. Experts say it's because of these and the increased access to internet and with school starting back up this month. Experts say parents need to have the hard conversations with their kids. Criminals try to build trust with their victims through apps and gaming programs before asking for information or pictures. Police tell me a common misconception is pictures on apps like Snapchat can disappear. When in reality, even though you cannot see it, it is still downloadable. Experts say service providers like Comcast, Google and Verizon report all suspected child sex abuse materials and strange searches. From there, the Colorado Springs Police Department investigates and will oftentimes go and recover on the social media app. I think it's, it's difficult now just because it's so prevalent. Um, you know, you would hope that, you know, your 12, 13, 14 year olds um, aren't exposed to that, but unfortunately they are um, all the way up to 16, 17, 18, but even all the way down to like six, seven, eight year olds, uh, just because they have the access and they, you know, they don't understand of what's going on. They also say these crimes can happen to any child with internet access. Live in Colorado Springs, Caitlin Quisenberry, KKTV 11 News. Certainly troubling for parents. All right, Caitlin, thank you.